And what do you know, a game is about to break out. Mike Holmgren, who guided Green Bay to a Super Bowl championship, lost in another appearance. Bill Cowart, second time to the Super Bowl, lost to Dallas 10 years ago. And that is Jeff Reed, who will put it in the air. Beat Cincinnati before that, and Super Bowl 40 underway in Detroit. The kick goes to the three-yard line. Josh Scobie out of Kansas State brings it back out to the 18-yard line. Clint Crewalt makes the tackle. And here comes Hasselbeck. Originally a Green Bay Packer when Holmgren was there. Then came over to Seattle now in his fifth season as a starter. He's been great in postseason, as you can see, with three touchdowns, no picks, and a rating of over 109 with Morris and Max Strong. They stay in the block, and there's a sack, but a penalty. That's Clark Hagens who got there, but we'll see about the call. Bill Levy is the referee. You know, with Clark Hagens on Number one side, Joey Porter on the other side. Third and one, Alexander, 16 for 16 on third and one during the regular season. They fake it to him, and the pass is caught by Jackson, and Darrell Jackson is to the 45-yard line. He had a smile, so I was just talking to Darrell Jackson. I think mm -hmm. he's going to have a big day. Play fake. Lots of time goes the other way and that is hauled in for a first down by Joe Jerovicious who's playing in his third Super Bowl once as a giant once as a Buccaneer and now as a Seahawk have to get it to the six yard line to convert and Hasselbeck's going for six it is tipped up in the air and incomplete intended for the speedy DJ Hackett now a 47 yard field goal attempt for Josh Brown in perfect indoor conditions right down the middle. You'll never see the shotgun from Seattle. Not one snap in the shotgun this year for the Seahawks. And that pass is juggled and then held onto by Antoine Randall L. He was able to regather it from the 30 yard line now. And they're going to run and end around with Heinz Ward with a lot of room to the outside for a first down and about a 17 yard gain before Manuel knocks him out of the bounds. At the 48 yard line with Seattle up 3 nothing. Fake draw. Play action. Roethlisberger deep but short and picked off at the 16 yard line by Michael Bulwer. Antoine Randall the intended receiver. Third and six, and Randall Ellis back in the game. Four wideouts against six defensive backs. is going to shovel it, and it's going to be caught by Hines Ward, and he's going to pick up a first down of the 43-yard line. Second down and nine. The ball is at the 43-yard line. Ward sets up on a wing. Roethlisberger throws deep over the middle, and that's caught at the 22-yard line by Cedric Wilson, who's really come on in postseason. Free agent picked up from San Francisco, and on the receiving end of a 20-yard catch here. And they meet again in the Super Bowl. Second down and 20. Play fake. Under pressure from the outside, and that's Grant Wistrom, the former Ram. Third down and 28 out of the shotgun now. Roethlisberger. Three-man rush. He's going to take off. He has time. He's going to launch one. And it is going to be caught at the three-yard line by Heinz Ward. So Ben Roethlisberger is able to move out of the pocket. And then he had to be so careful about where the line of scrimmage was. He almost looked around to his left to make sure he didn't cross that line. This is going to be a tough rundown. I could see a play-action pass. And instead, it's Roethlisberger on a keeper diving. And does he get there? Yes, he does. The linesman came in. It looked like he was going to spot it. Then he came closer. And Roethlisberger is able to score the touchdown on the 11th play of the drive. Yeah, I think the way the Seattle defense hit that second down play, I think they had to come up with something like this, where you, where you give them the tailback, you give them the fullback, and then you let the quarterback make the play for you. And a reviewable play, if Mike Holmgren's coaches upstairs tell him that they want this to be challenged, you can challenge this play. You take a look. Does the ball, does the ball get to the, 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 the goal line? And I take it uh, back about the guys upstairs. This is up to the replay official now because we're just inside two minutes, just inside the two-minute warning. Do the guys upstairs, does the replay official upstairs want to take a look at this? Initially, it looked as if he was going to spot the ball. 
After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field stands. Touchdown. Yeah, you're right. I mean, it's it's the call on the field. And it's a touchdown for the Steelers. So he is out. We're going to see Pruitt for the rest of the day. And you're going to see Parker bursting one over the right side. They call him Fast Willie Parker. And Fast Willie Parker has just gone 75 yards for a touchdown. That was a change in momentum that the Steelers were talking about. They had three wide receivers. Seattle was in nickel defense. So this is what you want to do. Get them to think that you're going to pass. Then you get a little counter, a good block there. You just get by that safety. Again, they had that eighth man up. Once you get by him with, with, with that nickel, you only have one safety back there, and you outrun that guy. Third down and four. Roethlisberger swings it to the outside. That's Ward. He breaks the tackle. He's inside the 30. He takes it to the 23-yard line. Got out of Kelly Herndon's grasp. Herndon, the guy playing in place of the injured Dyson. The bus. Big seam. First down to the 10. Four-man rush. It's flipped to the outside and intercepted by Kelly Herndon. Herndon to the 30. Roethlisberger is the only guy out in front of him, and he gets blocked out of the play. And then for Herndon finally runs out of gas on a gigantic play on a pass intended for Cedric Wilson. So here are the Seahawks just trying to hold him to a field goal, and the next thing you know, they are right back in the game. From the 16. Alexander in the eye, the play fake, in the pocket, Hasselbeck throws, touchdown, Jeremy Stevens. Jeremy Stevens, who had dropped two, makes his first catch of the game, 16 yards for a touchdown. John goes to the clicker here. Yeah, let's watch a touchdown again. Here's Jeremy Stevens. Now, he's going to come up, and he's going to run a corner. Now, Daryl Jackson come in here, and, and as he comes in the post, he kind of slows up here and goes in front of Palomalo. And you'll see that they, it kind of forms a pick. If we look at it right here, you see what happens? We've got four guys in there, and then when they break out, Stevens is wide open. From the 27. Pass throw on the run, making the catch. Bobby Ingram gets it out. Close to midfield at the 48-yard line. Would have been at the 1 instead it's at the 29, and it's first down and 20. Hasselback under pressure, gets spun down, and that's Casey Hampton. And John talking about Casey Hampton, and Hampton is able to burst through and put the pressure on and create a huge sack. With average speed, he has good speed. Close to a horse, Donald, but no call. Third down and 18. Hasselback throwing, and it's intercepted at the 5-yard line by Ike Taylor. And Ike Taylor is brought back to the 28-yard line where he's tackled by Matt Hasselbeck. And a flag comes in at the end of that play. At the 48, Dyson back in defensively for Seattle at one cornerback spot. Roethlisberger out of the shotgun. He's going to run it. He's going to run for a first down to the 42-yard line. At the 43. Little toss. Here comes a gadget play. Randall L. He can throw. He was a quarterback in college. And he's thrown a touchdown to Heinz Ward in the Super Bowl. Forty-three yards, and sooner or later, they're gonna run a gadget. And you know it's coming in this alumni area that I said is between the 40s and you know that Randall L is going to be involved in it it starts off in a reverse he comes around and it becomes a reverse pass and he throws a perfect pass to Heinz Ward they're going to start in a bunch and then he comes here Heinz Ward coming all the way across the field Randall L getting the ball out in front for him and that, is their friend at 841 and that's why Bill Cowher loves those gadget plays because it does change momentum Hasselbeck and he's going to run for a first down and Hasselbeck's going to make the most of it and then Hasselbeck loses the ball at the 35 yard line and the question is was he down and they're going to say no 
at least for the moment, and recovered by Polamalu. The question is, was he contacted? All he did was fall down. If he just fell down and wasn't contacted, it's down, a fumble. Not down by contact. It is a fumble. First down, Pittsburgh. And you'll see in a second, Levy's going to make the call here. After reviewing the play, the runner was touched by number 50 of the defense prior to going down. It'll be first and 10 on the 34-yard line. Seattle has not charged a timeout. And that's all that needed to, to have happen for Foot. Foot touched him. And then at the end of the play will be watch Hasselbeck's left elbow. There's the contact. He still has possession of the ball. When does he lose possession? He loses possession after the left elbow hits the ground. The second the left elbow hits the ground, end of play. He's never had as much fun as he had this year. Fourth down and 10. Hasselback stepping up, needs the first, has it to the 24 yard line. That's Ingram. Now, do you kick a 42 yard field goal? The starters are going to down it here to stop the clock. Okay, 34 seconds. And I think I think you take one shot, one shot here at the end zone. If you don't get it, I think you kick the field goal in the next down. 14th season, looking for his first Super Bowl win. Three man rush to the outside they go and staying in bounds Carter made the tackle on Stevens and he stays in bounds and now there's really nothing left to do you can't spike it it's fourth down where they finish the oh game boy. where they finish the half absolutely and the pass over the middle and that's Stevens and he's going to drop that one and that's going to write an end to it and you're exactly right John. The first half was a mess at the end. The end of this drive was a mess. As they'll end it on a kneel down, Polamalu will be the safety valve here. And the Pittsburgh Steelers, seven and five. And Wooden made the playoffs two months ago. Run the entire table with eight wins, regular and post. All of them in postseason on the road. Bill Cower was saying that he wanted to get this one to give owner Dan Rooney his fifth Super Bowl ring. He did that. And finally, finally, after those four Super Bowl wins in the 70s, one of the great dynasties in the history of sports, they finally, in 2005, the 2005 season, on February 5th, 2006,